That's enough fun for today. Everything we're, we're trying to introduce our video. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. How is uh, how is everyone? Oh, should we wait for the reply? Yeah. I'm not hearing anything. <laughs> if you could chat a little bit louder, that'd be helpful. Yeah, no, how are you, Chloe? Are you, uh, are you well? Yes, I'm well. I'm plodding on, carrying on. Good, good, yeah. Good. yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think that describes you? a lot of us. Yeah, plodding on. Um, we did promise last week that I would uh, show my uh, studio. Ooh, yes, I can see it's a different coloured door behind you. Uh, no, no, no. Lauren painted it, I didn't. But uh, yeah, so uh, it's, there's still a few things, still quite a few things to add in, but uh, I've just got, uh, you know, my face is lovely, lovely and painted. And, is that uh, your, your, your lone chair where you go and sit? My, my lone chair where I will be uh, playing some music every now and then. Uh, yeah. yeah, it should be good fun. Um, got, got a new desk coming shortly and a drum kit electric drum kit, not a pro I think my neighbours would absolutely hate me. Um, if it was a just a normal drum kit. Um, yeah. And so this, this is where hopefully the videos will be made for the foreseeable future. So welcome. Welcome to my office. It's my first ever office that's just mine. Because as we all know, I don't have my own office at church, which is probably a good thing. Because um, would I actually get any work done? But you're never in it anyway, so yeah. Ouch. <laughs> it's because I'm out I'm meeting the... in it at the moment. It's, yeah, uh... <laughs> I'm, out, I'm out meeting the young people where they're at, Chloe. Enough of yeah. dissing my work. Right, anyway, what are we here to talk about today, Chloe? Uh, we are here to talk about uh, talking with Jesus, or perhaps better phrased, uh, chatting with Jesus, or having a conversation with Jesus. Okay. Um, so that is today's um theme topic oh, okay so and we'll, we'll um, i'm assuming we'll unpack unpack that a little bit later i yes. should have should have written down some notes um first though we're gonna uh, get you guys to uh like a, oh well actually no, we need to show uh last week's buckaroo challenge don't we we do yeah oh, okay so uh we had a, we had a couple of entrances um some very skilled balancing um, some interesting objects to choose to balance. But um, yeah, we're going to show you those now, so uh, enjoy. Sit. Okay, but we're going to try Buckaroo. You ready? Okay, so thank you guys for um, sending them in. It's really good to, to see. Uh, this week we have something slightly different, still a little bit of a challenge, but um, yeah, what we've got is uh, we want you guys to get involved in a game of like extreme Pictionary type thing. And so what's going to happen like is... Clue as well. It's like a... Yeah, it's like a, a mishmash of every guessing game you've ever, ever heard of. No, <coughs> not really. So, what you'll need is uh, you'll need some paper uh, and a pen uh, and some form of receptacle, like a bowl, a hat, a colander, saucepan. Yeah, 
Um, and what's going to happen is on the screen. Uh, and a dice. Oh, and a dice. Yes, if you have a dice. If you don't, we uh, encourage uh, numbered slips of paper and a second receptacle. Um, but what's going to happen is on the screen, uh, it's going to pop up uh, the numbers one to six. And, and by that, uh, going to be um, like a, a way of uh, kind of oh, sort of like describing or uh, the kind of challenge to um, get the rest of the group to guess a word. Okay. Your method of work. Method. That's the word. I should have written down method. So you've got your pieces of paper. On these pieces of paper, like maybe little slips, if you could write each of you, write a place, a person, and an object. All right? And then put, fold them up, put them in the pan, hat, colander, I don't know, so, ho hollowed out pumpkin. Like, um, do I still do that at this time of year? I don't know. Um, and then those will be the things that you then try to guess. So what will happen is you will uh, pick a piece of paper out and then you'll roll the dice and then you will see how you have the method with which you have to try and um, kind of yeah, share. Communicate. Share. Communicate. You're, you've got all the right words there, Chloe. Uh, <laughs> communicate with the rest of the group. I hope that makes sense. So, for example, I picked up my piece of paper here that says uh, something. Uh, okay, I've got a little popstick here. And uh, I've rolled a dice and it's number three. Matt, what am I going to have to do? You would have to draw this with your foot or feet. Oh, okay. So then I would uh, get my foot out, put my pencil between my toe, draw it, and everyone else has got to try and guess what it is that I am drawing with my foot. That is a quality example, Chloe. Thank you for rescuing this little segment. You're very welcome. <laughs> the instructions will come up on the screen. Have a go. So I hope that uh, has brought a bit of uh, lighthearted entertainment and you managed to work out what we were trying to get you to do. Um, if not, then make up your own game, open rules, that's fine. Um, so moving on to this week's... I wonder. So for this week's I wonder, we couldn't decide on just one I wonder. So we want you to wonder twice. Okay. So I wonder. Full on beer. So Matt, could you tell us the first I wonder? Good. Yeah. So I wonder what Jesus' voice sounds like. Like, so when Jesus talks to us today, what does he sound like? That's my, that's my um, I wonder. Okay, my I wonder is what would it have been like talking with Jesus? So what would talking with Jesus have been like back in the Bible times? Like mm. think about in the Bible, what would it have been like to actually talk physically like Matt and I are now? What would it, and with you guys, what would it have been like to talk with Jesus? Jesus talked on Zoom. Mm. No, I don't think he did, but... <laughs> okay, so pause this button and ponder. Cool, so I hope you've enjoyed pondering those two questions. Um, I wonder, like talking with Jesus in the in the Bible times, would have been quite fascinating. I think because Jesus, although the people around the time would have known the first part of the Bible and bits like that, Jesus had just this amazing understanding of it all and just spoke with authority. It would have been quite fascinating just mm. to sit there and listen and go, "Wow!" And it uh, go on sounding so real if that makes sense obviously it was real but it was just yeah 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 maybe the gravity of his teachings like i mean he he was obviously a gifted communicator like he could um 
yeah, kind of for it like when when we when we when we chat with someone who is you know just kind of really like engaging, like you just kind of feel uh, like really valued when you talk to them, or what they're saying is really relevant to you. Like, I, like I would like that would have been Jesus, wouldn't it? At every point, whether he was talking to five thousand people that had just been fed, or or whether it was just you and him, like yeah, he yeah, I don't know, I. I yeah, and I reckon you could, it's probably someone that you could just sit and listen to mm. for hours. There are a few people that you think, oh, their voice, I could just sit and listen to for hours. I reckon yeah. that might be like a bit like Jesus. I mean, that's obviously not talking with them physically, but like, yeah. 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 What about you? So, I you might wonder, when he speaks for us today, what does he sound like? Um, I wonder. Does he that... speak in everyone's different dialects? And accents. We've talked about this, Chloe. I don't, I don't think God puts on an Irish accent when he talks to Phil, or like uh, you know, a proper London accent when he talks to Steve Hudson, or a Scouse one when he talks to Dan. Like or a Scottish you know, one when he talks to Norman. I, like I wonder. I mean, <laughs> probably not, Chloe. But um, I, yeah, like when 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 Jesus speaks for us today, like what what does it sound like? Do you know what? I think it is different for everyone. Um, and the way that, that like, kind of Jesus communicates with us. Uh, so I don't actually know what his voice would sound like. Um, but yeah, I think God speaks to us in a way that we need, in a way that we would hear and understand. Which isn't particularly uh, a solid, like, it's not a black and white answer, because it's, a, but... It's how I wonder. That's how you wonder. That's how you think it might be. Yeah, I'm. I'm still thinking about it. I'm going to be thinking about it for ages. Thanks, brain. So we know that um, kind of talking and chatting with our friends and our family is really important. Um, and I don't know how you guys found the game at the beginning, where there were restrictions on the way that you could communicate um, with each other, but. Uh, I imagine, uh, well, I, w I wonder if some of you uh, managed to get them all, uh, or if you got frustrated that people weren't quite uh, understanding what you were trying to, trying to tell them. Um, and and what, what, we, um, what we wanted to kind of share this morning is that actually, um, we know that actually our communication with, with Jesus, um, our, our ability to chat with Jesus, like, is kind of completely uh, kind of free from restriction. Um, so we, uh, you know, we don't have to um, talk to Jesus just by kind of, you know, kind of kneeling by our bed, hands together, eyes closed. That's not the only way we can uh, communicate, like chat with Jesus. Um, Chloe, you were saying earlier that you sometimes uh, just have a conversation with, with God as you're on a walk. Um, mm -hmm. I, 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 when I'm driving, usually by myself, because otherwise Lauren just thinks I'm talking to myself. But um, you know, like uh, have, sometimes have a chat just with God. And um, if we don't take time to talk with God, if we don't take time to chat with God, how do we know how much he loves us? If we don't take time to chat with God, how do we know um, what he wants for our life? And so it's really important. And it, um, like we said, the communication like, or the way that you chat with him is completely free. However you feel like you want to communicate with God, God uh, is bigger and uh, kind of, it just understands us. Um, it says in the Psalms that he knows us inside out. He knows us uh, from before we were born. So the way that we communicate with God, um, it's, it's just important that we take that time to talk with him. Yeah, because for example, like, if you were uh, not, if you spent an entire day and you didn't speak to your parents or you didn't speak to your siblings or whatever, you'd have no idea how they were or what they were doing or maybe what they wanted to, for you to mm. do. And so communication with um, parents or your families is really important to know how they are and what they want you to do. So it's the kind of thing what Matt was saying. It's like, um, that's how important it is to do it with God too. And um, like, and it seems a bit strange to maybe uh, talk to God who already knows everything that's going on and that's already kind of gone on and, and, and he knows how we feel. But actually, I think it's, I think God, God 
is really happy when we decide to spend time telling him how our day's gone or what's going on or um, how we're feeling. Even though he already knows it, I think um, he absolutely loves us taking time out to talk to him. And also, I guess it might feel a bit weird to some people if praying isn't really your thing, you like praying to something that's not next to you or mm -hmm. not on the other end of the phone or it's a bit weird. Um, but he's actually like everywhere all around us. So um, it's one of those weird things that you've just somehow kind of just got to get over. Yeah, yeah, no, it's, <laughs> it, it is. It's one of those things. But, um, but when, we, when we spend that time, you know, actually then, then we can start, we, just like we talked about earlier about um, when, you come, when you have a conversation with someone, it's not just about you talking, it's about you listening as well, isn't it, Glenn? Mm. Uh, and then when we, when we listen, that, that's when we hear stuff like how much God loves us or um, we hear what God wants for our lives. Yeah, it's the two-way conversation. Isn't it? Once you've opened up that platform for you to start having a conversation with, with God, with Jesus and chatting away, that opens up um, the 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 portal as if it were opens up the portal. I like that. I'm just visioning, you know, like Avengers or whatever, and the portal's opened, and you've got the two-way communication now just opening between you and God. Yeah, between you and the heavenly realm. There we go. Um, yeah. So once that portal is open, and once that communication link is up, mm. you are able to then perhaps to listen to what um, God wants you to do what he's saying to you and um, the fact that he loves you and that he cares for you. Now, listening to God, listening to something that's not here and physical is something that's not very easy. And it's something that none of us find very easy. I don't find it easy. And I'm sure Matt can say doesn't always find it easy either to listen to God. Um, but it's kind of making ourselves um, or helping us to be aware that it isn't, easy but there's lots of ways that we can listen to Jesus and he speaks in lots of different ways and we have to be open to listening to him because we may think that God will speak in an audible voice in our heads um, maybe in an Irish accent maybe not um, but actually he could speak to us in different ways as well and it's being open to the fact that God could use um a song that you're listening to on the radio or on t tv but it could be a christian song it doesn't have to be a christian song could be speaking to you through a tv program could be going for a walk could just be a phrase that comes out and you think oh wow that um like i was watching a video on facebook uh just like one of the ones that came up and it said that um one of the phrase was i am a work in progress and it just spoke to me is the fact that yeah i'm not a finished article and, and i'm not perfect i won't be and that god is working in me it wasn't a christian video it wasn't anything but it was just the fact that it said i am a work in progress and i was like yeah i am a work in progress and god is working in me and i'm trying to become um mm. a better person um and so he can speak to us in different ways through someone else it's yeah. interesting I think, uh, I, don't, I don't know, I don't know if the people watching this have ever, um, you know, when, when you listen to someone, uh, I mean, obviously when it's kind of really loud, you try and stare at the mouth so you can try and lip read so you get a little bit of uh, kind of what they're saying. But if we focus too much on, say, like what they're saying, like, you know, their actual kind of mouth, um, sometimes we miss kind of what's going on around, which is just as important. Um, and it's really important to listen uh, to God, not, um, not just focusing on this one little thing, you know, so may maybe uh, we've asked for something, you know, and, and we're kind of w watching it, waiting for our prayer to be answered, when actually if we try and look at, uh, maybe take a step back and have a, a, a bigger picture, uh, we maybe see God speaking to us um, in, a, in a different way and, and actually because he is so much more wise and so much bigger, it's in a way that's better for us. Like, is that the answer, the answer to maybe our prayer is, is much better for us than we could have imagined? Hmm. So, um, I, so we, oh, go on, go on, Chloe, sorry. I was, I was gonna say, we just wanted to um, finish on a, with a, a verse, lovely verse, well, not finish, but like, um, a lovely verse from Psalms, which kind of gives us a, 
an encouragement, a reason, a um, beautiful picture, really, too, of um, us communicating with God. Hmm. You've got it there, Matt. I have got it there. Um, and it's Psalm 116. And we're going to read the first two verses. And then I'll, we'll put it on the screen. It says, I love the Lord, for he heard my voice. He heard my cry for mercy. Because he turned his ear to me, I will call on him as long as I live. I just thought that was a beautiful picture that we can talk to God because we know he listens and he hears. But whenever we talk to him, he turns his ear to listen to us. And I just had this picture of um, God bending down from heaven. Like, you know, this big uh, God, you have no idea who, what God looks like. But in my head, this is what it looked like. Because he hears. Like, yeah, just going down. And, I, and there's how many of us there are on earth. And he just bent down to listen to my prayer that I was talking at at that time. Um, and we can be confident in the fact that he does listen to us. He does hear to us. He wants to be in communication with us. He may not always answer in the way that we expect or when we expect it, but we have to be open to the fact that we know that God gives, 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 gives good gifts to those who love him. Mm. And he knows what's best for us. We might think that what's really important for us right now is to be able to go away, go on holiday, do something, but, and that's just not happening. It's not possible, but actually God might, God actually knows really what you need right now. And he knows that, and that might be a holiday and time off and break, or it might just be time at home, staycation. Like he knows what you need more than what we know what we need. And so, yeah, thank you. Chloe. And so we're going to move to, um, just got a little bit of a, a prayer activity actually. Um, and one of the things, so, sometimes we, um, Sometimes we do see an answer to prayer straight away, but other times, uh, often we see answers to prayer when we look back, when we kind of say, oh yeah, God, God did that. Like, oh, God looked after me there, or um, yeah. And so we've just got a little uh, prayer activity that we, we hope will kind of help you um, kind of see, see how God has moved in your life. Um, so Chloe, it, what, what was their need for this? So you will need a piece of A4 or A3 paper and uh, some scissors, and probably eventually some pens or pencils. Okay, go. Okay. Okay, so hopefully, by the end of the video you will have your own little uh, prayer journal prayer booklet okay made out of um, a sheet of a4 paper and um, if you don't want to make one of these or you have your own you already have a prayer journal or prayer booklet then go ahead and use that one um or if you want to make this but then also perhaps get a booklet get your own notepad or whatever then that's fine so your uh a4 sheet of paper um, you need to fold in half first. Which way? I will show you. Yeah. I folded this way. It doesn't really matter. Um, and then I'm going to fold it in half again like this. And then again like this. So many folds. Yeah. Okay. Then you need to open it out. So it looks like this. Okay. And you need to make sure that you've got the two open ends here and you need to cut with your scissors the folded bit to the first line there does that make sense yes so, i am um, i've got some very funky scissors here because i haven't for some reason <laughs> instead of having scissors in my office i have a pen knife that has scissors so why not <laughs> they do a job okay so you've got your sheet of paper that looks like this so it now has a slit in the middle. Mm -hmm. you, can see. you can't see me. Nope. Um, so fold it in half that way. You've got your slit. And you need to kind of make it into a cross. So put it like that. And it'll kind of flop. This is the tricky bit. Where you then just need it to fold. And this is basically, once you've got it to fold, you have a booklet. Unbelievable. 
You can make a whole book out of a sheet of A4. All this from a sheet of A4, yeah. And then, as you can see, mine's not exactly neat, so you can trim it along the edge, but it just takes a bit of folding. Also, my paper's not very thick. But there, so there you go. One, two, you can trim the, that's a bit bad, and three. Okay, and so with, with your prayer journal, what we would um, really encourage you to do is to just kind of write down what it is you chat with God about. Um, yeah. The, the great thing about this is there are seven pages, so you can do it for a week. Oh. Um, so you can have like day one and say maybe, maybe one thing that you've been chatting with God about, um, maybe write the prayer out if you want to, or just the things that you've been chatting about. Um, yeah, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and then on the back page, day seven. Hmm. That's awesome. And so we hope that by doing this, you will then see um, how God like, has maybe kind of answered your prayers or, or how God has, um, yeah, kind of maybe guided you or uh, just said how much he loves you. Um, and some of those things that you may have been talking about, asking about, he may not have answered in the way that you're expecting, but may have answered in a completely different way. And you could perhaps write at the bottom how that went or the person you prayed for, whether they were feeling better or what happened as a result of your prayer. And if nothing has happened, then don't worry. God is still working on it. And maybe you need to come back to it in two weeks time and see what, um, yeah. see what's there. Yeah. So um, we are, um, how many more weeks have we got left, Chloe? One or two? Second of August, for, I think it's two. It's two more Sundays. I was trying to do the maths. Um, so we've yeah we've got two more Sundays before we are having um, a, a break in August. Um, so uh, yeah, just to kind of make you guys aware of that. Um, it, we're going to be doing an all so one service all age like we normally do over the summer where we don't do Sunday Gang or Gen Rise, and so there'll be a one all age kind of service that will be yeah. throughout the summer so don't be afraid or worried no and um, yeah we hope you enjoy those um yeah. but yeah so uh Chloe before we go should we yeah. pray I think we should yeah cool I'll pray I'll, oh you pray cool Lord, thank you for this morning. Thank you for a time where we've had an opportunity to chat with you, to think about chatting with you. And um, we just pray that you would help us to use these prayer journals as an opportunity to chat with you, to get more used to it, and perhaps to see um, answers to prayer. Lord, thank you that when we do talk to you, uh, you bend down your ear towards us to listen. And we pray that you'd help us to remember that as we go about this week and help us to continue to chat with you. We pray these things now in your name. Amen. 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 Cool. Have a good week, everyone. And we will see you next week.